Hey there, game devs. Today, I want to share with you two great opportunities to save a bunch of money, but they are time sensitive, so make sure that you watch this now. Let's start with the free things. If you're not already watching the Publisher of the Week sale every week, you should be. Every week, they give away something free, and this week, it's Brooklyn Game Audio's Techno Battle Themes. Just add that code Brooklyn Game Audio, it's always the publisher of the week, and it'll be completely free. And if you like that, go check out their other audio packs. Now, if audio is not your thing, you're still gonna wanna save off that link though, because next week they're giving away five assets, so there's gonna be something in there that you'll definitely want. And again, every week there's something new with all of that publisher's assets 50% off. So make sure that you check it out this week, go grab that free pack, and then check out the next one. I'm really excited, it, I think it's gonna be really cool, and this is probably one of my favorite things that Unity does. Now, speaking of cool things that Unity does, the Fresh sale is also live. And this is a sale that has all of the most popular assets from the last six months. So if you're looking for something new, maybe a selection of things that you haven't seen on sale before, this is the chance for that. And I want to go over some of the things that I thought were the coolest and some of the ones that I use myself. I'll break them down into categories for you though, so it's easy for you to figure out which things are interesting and which ones aren't. First, we're gonna start with UI packs, and I noticed that there are three really cool packs all from Layer Lab. I think I just like their style. They've got the super casual pack, this bundle, and then the casual fantasy pack. They all look really cool, and they're just neat for what you need to do when you're building a game like this. If you like this art style, I really like Layer Lab stuff. It's just kind of easy to use and like looks like the demos show. Next up is Edit editor tooling, and there are three really cool packs by the same developer here, Kubacho Lab. There's V Hierarchy, V Tab, and V Folders, and they all look really interesting. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm going to give them a shot. V Hierarchy lets you customize the hierarchy and make different visuals and graphics for things really easily. The V Folders one actually seems really cool. You can take a folder and then make it into a tab. Well, I think it's called V Tabs. I'm calling it folders because that's what I like about it, but it looks like, oh, you can even take properties and other things and turn them into separate tabs. Very interesting idea and design, I think. And then finally, V folders, that's the last one I was thinking of, just lets you customize the folders. This is probably the least exciting. I think that the tabs is the most exciting and hierarchy is the next. But they're all very cool, interesting little editor tools that I think are worth checking out. So again, I'm gonna try them all. If you've tried any of them, by the way, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of them. So far, they seem highly rated, so I can't see any reason not to give them a go. On the editor tooling, there are two other things that I thought were kind of interesting. An exporter for Unreal to Unity. If you've got a bunch of Unreal stuff or getting those Unreal Humble bundles and you want to convert them, this could be very handy. And then the SRP Material Converter. This I actually have used many times. It does conversions from HDRP to URP, URP to SRP, and all or BRP and all around just getting the transitions between those. So if you need to do that, super handy tool and really cheap. Now we're gonna go on to multiplayer game templates because there were actually quite a few of these and some of them I haven't seen before, like the Snake Wars IO that looks like it's a Slither IO clone. I didn't know this even existed, but it seems like an interesting kind of thing to have up on the asset store. In fact, I'm wondering, are there other game templates people would like to see on there? Maybe there's something that I could be convinced into building. Let's go on though. There's also Atavism on premise. If you wanna build your own MMO and you're looking at that process, I definitely recommend that you check out Atavism and UMMORPG dissect them, figure out how they work and see maybe if you wanna use one of them or if one of them will help you or both of them will help you along your development life cycle. And there's also a modular multiplayer FPS engine, an advanced multiplayer FPS and a squad shooter template. This one, I don't know if it was online, but the other two were and it seems pretty interesting if you wanna make that kind of game. Start with a template, build off of that, and then once you know how it all works, build your own from scratch afterwards. For world building, there were also three things that I wanted to call out. The first one I hadn't seen before, it's this Terraformer Advanced Terrain Shader. I'm not sure exactly how to use this, but it looks really beautiful, and I can see some ideas forming in my mind of what I might want to do with this. There's also Gaia. If you haven't used Gaia before, well, you're missing out. You should definitely go give Gaia a try. Just see what it's like, see how awesome it is, and then grab Gaia Pro if you're gonna use it and start building out some giant levels. Now, if you like more custom level design though, Microverse is great, and the Microverse Road Pack is on sale. You have to get Microverse, I believe the core pack first. From These are all from uh, Jason Booth, Go the Microverse ones. Go check those out though. It's really cool, it lets you do your own really fast terrain building. I feel like it's a, a terrain building system for people who wanna really customize those things and don't wanna do things so procedurally. Although there's a lot of procedural stuff going on in there. Again, really cool. Check it out in the link and you can see it right here on screen. 
Now, when it came to characters, I didn't find as many things that I got excited about, but that's probably personal taste. If you saw a character that you thought was awesome and I don't mention it, drop it down below. I want to see what it is. But the ones that I liked were these cool robots, these interesting little weird robots. I really like robot packs. That's just me. Um, These weird horror villains. And I say weird, but they're just kind of like creepy looking. I could see them being really useful in a lot of types of games, though. And then maybe have these uh, random girls running from them or something. I don't know exactly what what the setup was, but I like that they have some humanoid characters that look like they should be running from the villains almost right below them. And then finally, if you're looking for something just a little bit more casual, they got these customizable 2D characters with this whole system to customize them and let your players build something. So if you want to build something like fast, low poly, where you've got customization built in, this seems like a cool option as well. Environments are also very important. Probably like the main thing they download after characters is environments. And this Fantasy Souls-like mega bundle seemed really cool. I haven't tried it out. I want to see what it looks like in game but this looked pretty amazing and i'm shocked at how cheap assets have gotten for these giant packs of art next up there was a sci-fi living room that just kind of goes cool with that robot that i had and kind of fits into some more ideas i was thinking of and then a pirate pack if you want something kind of cool and again casual a little bit chill and maybe kid friendly and then finally back on that uh original topic of the souls like stuff it's got me going i like this medieval tavern as well But if you like that art style, they've got a ton of packs on the sale. So just click through. I'll I'll link their whole publisher page of all of their stuff. They've got a lot of stuff in here. A lot of really interesting packs that kind of fit the, the, the look that I like. All right, let's go on to the last thing. Now, my last section is labeled vehicles, but that's a lie. It's actually spaceships. And more specifically, it's CG Pitbull spaceships because these things are amazing. And I've been looking at these and wanting to use these in games ever since I started with Unity. And they've got quite a few really cool packs on sale. There's the Volume 23 pack, which has this interesting ship that's got a little cargo drop-off piece. There's a kit bash part, so you can build up all of the different things and make your own spaceships. I feel like I would do terrible with that, but it seems kind of cool for people have any artistic skill and then the wreck parts which has me like inspired now to make a a level where you're flying in and going and investigating a wreck and i've got way too much sci-fi stuff on my head these packs are amazing though cg pitbull stuff is all great though so go check these out i will link all of these and the ones that i shared before in the description along with the publisher of the week sale make sure that you go grab your free publisher of the week asset and then next week make sure that you grab the five publisher of the week assets or if you're watching this and it's next week make sure that you go grab that or anytime in the future go grab it there'll be something else up there all right thanks again for joining me for this if there was something that you think should have been included drop that in the comments and i will take a look and reply i'm always curious to see what people are recommending especially when it comes to the tool side because there's always cool tools out there and it's really hard to keep up with all of the best stuff all right thanks again don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you in the next video bye